Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Elaine. The day before uh, New Year's. New Year's, this is New Year's Eve. Um, some of us like to cook black eyed peas. And it's something that we do regularly. And it works out pretty good. Now for me, I wanted to soak them. So I'm going to put them in a bowl. And then I will basically let them sit for a while just to soak them and soften them up and it, it's really good when you're using what's the pot i don't remember soaking them before but i do soak them now yeah it has been a long day i hope you guys are doing good put me up in the comments let me know how things going what are you planning for new year's gonna let those soak for a while and then when I'm done soaking them and they must have come in clean it's pretty much coming clean then we're gonna go to the next step okay guys now that the beans have soaked we're gonna come over to the instapot and uh, press the saute button which you can find very easily and we're going to pour in some olive oil, a good tablespoon or whatever. You hear the beeping, that lets you know that it is on. We're going to let that heat up a little bit. And we're going to just prepare the rest of the food. I'm trying to get the good... Yeah, you go. Yeah, you go. Um, hold on. So, yeah... Once you soak your beans, if you're going to soak your beans, it's good to soak them 20, for 24 hours overnight. If you need to, um, I don't know if they call it flash them or it's another word that they use. You just get some boiling hot water and soak your uh, beans for an hour in boiling hot water. Or you can put them in the microwave with some water and do it that way i think for like 20 minutes or so i just soaked them for an hour in some hot water and um i'm pleased with that and rinsed them so once this gets to the state i need it in which is going to be very soon i have a few onions because y'all know if y'all know me then you know i'm not a big onion person but i do like to cook with onions uh it has wonderful flavor and wonderful components to it it's just i'm not good at digesting it but i still can use it and then put them to the side and know that the flavor is going through it so i've got a few onions here that i'm going to just put in here while my olive oil is heating up And then, as you can hear, it's starting to sizzle up. I don't know how much you can see, but yeah, it's gonna sizzle up. I prop some my lid here. Some lids you can do that with the Instapot, some you can't. But yeah, as you can hear, this is your saute button. This helps you uh, cook your vegetables, your onions and peppers and things like that. If you wanna just give them a jump start before you actually cook the entire meal. So, we're going to let that go. We're not browning it hard, which is softening the actual onion. It's not going to brown hard at all. I don't know what it is about onions, but they always smell so good. You get where I'm going with this? Uh, you can use peppers, you can use celery, you can use whatever you want. I'm just going to use the onions. And the olive oil. Okay. Now I have some smoked meat that I'm going to add. Smoked turkey. One. Ooh. Two. I probably don't need all three, but I'm going to cook them anyway. I don't need them. I'm just gonna put it in that way. I can just blend that in a little bit. As we begin the process of getting this 
This is the equivalent of four cups of butter. Okay. I'm going to put in chicken broth. Okay. We strained off our beans. And we're going to put these in. start to stir and start to blend. Now I'm going to get some water. It should be equal parts. I'm going to see. Yeah, I got four cups of water, four cups of broth. I got the onions. I got the meat. Now we're going to put in a little bit of seasonings. I like pepper. Some seasoning salt. I don't have um, Creole cake, unfortunately. So I'm just going to use my usual seasonings, whatever you like. I'm going to put some garlic in there. Okay, so we're going to cut this saute button off because we no longer need the saute button. We're about to pressure cook. Everything is in there, covered up, and stirred. And that is it, my friends. We're going to make sure that the valve is closed. We're going to manually do, I'm going to say, 40 minutes. I'm going to check it in 40 minutes and see if it's soft enough the way I like it. You have to trial and error with this. We'll be back. Okay, guys, we've let it rest for... Uh, well, we cooked it for the 40 minutes and we let it rest. As you can see, the L23, that is just another way of saying that's how long the food has been finished, but it's it, it'll stay warm, basically. So it was about 24 minutes. The pan has dropped, so it means we can safely open it up. Oh, wow. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this smells amazing. So, at this point, you can leave it this way, or you can uh, cut up your meat and then put it back in there. You have options with any of your meals. So, if you put the turkey on here, let's see, get you to bring it in a little bit. There you go. This is basically it. This is the turkey. It's been cooking in the black eyes for the 40 minutes. The, the interesting part about um, the Instapot is it doesn't take long for foods like turkey, which actually are tough for a while. I like some of the skin, so I'm just deciding like what parts I want. But this is pulling apart so easy. Of course, you want to be careful with your little stems or whatever they are because it cooks all the way down to the bone. You definitely don't want to get one of those. I just want to make sure that it's all clear. And it's super hot, so I'm not going to be able to handle it too much with my hands, but we'll see. This looks good. good smells amazing you guys like I said just be careful with the bone or the chips bone chips that's what I'll call them I'm trying to get them to the side oh, this. This. anyway this was a very easy meal the only thing I want to check now is to make sure that my beans or tender enough. Just want to get the skin. Yeah. I'm going to call him and 
do that. But I think when you decide to like break up your meat, that's how it ends up going because this would be in the in the beans. Okay, that looks really good. Let's see if you guys can see this. Let me try. Let me try to put this to the side. Now that is how that broke up. That looks good, right? Okay. okay. I'm gonna finish breaking up the meat. As a matter of fact, I need to put it on something so that I can continue. I am a person that cooks with their hands, so don't pay me any mind. As long as they're clean, you can do that. Huh? Let's check and see what the beans are like. I want you to go back a little bit. There you go. I'm going to finish doing the turkey. And as this cools down, of course, the um, gravy will uh, soften up. I can tell that these are tender. But I just want to know if they are as tender as I want them. See if you can see them. Mm -hmm. They're good. The only thing you have to do now um, is add, finish adding your little uh, spices. Put your meat back in. And let your... Uh, this is definitely going to tighten up. I'm not even worried about that. This is how it looks. And I wish everybody a happy new year. This is the only thing I'm going to eat tonight. I'm going to have the rest of my meal tomorrow. So we'll see you then. Stay in peace. Not in pieces.